Yes. Hello there, everybody. Welcome to the radio station. This yes. is um. Yes. And well, this <laughs> is Mr. Jelm at Stargazer 1331, bringing you yep. a second Let's Play on Monsters, Inc. Scream Team. However, this is not just a normal Let's Play. This is our Let's Play Glitch and Cheat Monsters, Inc. Scream Team. Hell's free. That's yeah, exactly baby. what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. How this works? Well, I'll tell you after this cutscene, which I have to watch again. As I toin up the volume. Yes, the cutscene is just going. Yeah, and our friends, our friend Anthony's with us too. If we get through this, you and I could be the best scream My name is Robert Stropless has ever seen. I can't believe Robert we're handpicked by Waterloo himself yes. to train at the Monsters Incorporated private facility. I can't do this. I'm too nervous. And by that, they mean they're too nervous because they're good. they might get caught cheating at this game. Aha! Uh -huh, I had to say it. Or they might just get skipped over. Well, no, that's not it. Yep. Well, welcome to orientation. That's right, I had to say it like that. It's a torpedo too. Yeah, well, unfortunately for you guys, I'm not really gonna welcome be. Welcome to the shut up. <laughs> unfortunately for no, you. No, I will never shut up. Anyway, unfortunately for you guys, I'm not really gonna be showing much of the orientation because, uh, unfortunately, this level is like actually Star pretty Trek. freaking perfect. And there's no way to really glitch it, except showing you the infinite jumping glitch, which is one of the biggest flaws in this game. You can literally make Sully jump infinitely in the air. So I, I will have, show you. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. Why does that character sound like a chain smoker? I don't know. That's the whole like idea. If you've seen Monsters Inc., you you would understand. All right, so this is I the this is the this is the ago. perfect uh, this is the perfect ledge here uh, or area here to demonstrate the infinite jumping glitch. If you were to do a single jump and repeatedly press the uh, jump button in the air for about half a second every time, you could actually make Sully jump infinitely in the air, like this. You descend a little bit each time, but you can actually get to places where you normally couldn't. By, uh, ex uh, by floating in the air, pretty much, and keep jumping, and to get tokens you're not supposed to get. And also you can use... You made it. Exactly. And also you could use this tactic to also, uh, to jump up certain, like, cliffs as well. I will, uh... Alright, so... <laughs> now for attacking! How about now? <laughs> So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're gonna skip ahead to the uh, first level of the actual game, which will be the docks. All right, so so that's it. Stay tuned for. All right, since I'm at the elevator, at the welcome end of the back. Let's continue on. I know that was a little belated. Excellent work, gentlemen. Now, in order to hone your skills so that you can become top scare producers, we're going to make things a bit more challenging. Oh, well, at least we made it this far. <laughs> yeah, I just had to do it. <laughs> yeah, Mike's gonna quit on us. Oh, yeah, and by the way, pulling off about, I'd say like 95% of the glitches, you need to be Sully. So Mike is almost pretty much not gonna appear in this whole entire Let's Play, except for one level. But we're not gonna explain that now. First, we're gonna dive right into the docks, which, believe it or not, there is so many glitches in this level that I've recently discovered. Some of, some of which you can pull off easily, others you need to be a master of the infinite jumping glitch. And just so anyone isn't up my ass, this, we do not, I repeat, we do not have a game shark or anything plugged in. I repeat. And try these glitches out yourself, because I bet that you guys can actually try them. Alright, so I'm going to collect a few tokens here, and actually, now that I think about it, one of the uh, unreachable tokens is coming up right here. See? Oh no, we need a trampoline, because we need to get our ass up there and get that token. Or uh, three. However, there's actually a glitch you can pull off using this little bastard here who tries to fucking hit you with a shovel. And who has a very creepy ass face. <laughs> oh god. Shit. Anyway, how this works, you need to do, your, do a double jump the instant the guy hits you with the shovel. And for whatever reason, you'll get projected up into the air to get extra height. And on top of that, you can do another double jump in the air. Which I missed. I missed again. Ow. Ow. Wow, what the hell? Something's not right. That's another glitch, by the way, as I failed epically to get the token. This one's not quite easy to get. If you just so happen to uh, 
jump at the last second before you get hit and die. You'll jump into the air randomly when you die. It's weird. Oh, really, guy? No! Something's not right. And by the way, keep in mind is that if I fail too many times, if I fail too many times, I'll just edit it out. Okay, so you don't have to watch me fail 50,000 times. And there we go! We got the token! Haha! -ha. So if you press, remember, if you press the jump button, the instant hit you get hit, you will get shot into the air so you can get the token. Pretty damn awesome if you ask me. Hells yeah. Are you scaring a breeder first? Because you can. <laughs> well, that's not a glitch, it's just... I don't know, you can just do whatever the hell you want. I know. Yeah, but I just move like... Someone who's like really anal about it could be like, Oh no, you're supposed to scare the purple and blue. But it's like, I don't know, it's like It's that. blue! It's yeah, not like, purple. I don't know, it looks purple to me. A lot of people are probably asking me at this point, How the fuck do you get that token up there? Yeah! Well, you know that jumping glitch I just showed you? This is, that will come in per- That will come in handy perfectly at this point. Yep. It's perfectly meant for that, for that jumping glitch. Uh, and then what you need to do is start the jumping glitch. Yes. Rem to do the jumping glitch, remember, I'll say it only one last time. Fuck! Never mind. Uh, <laughs> you need to tap the jump button every half a second or so. Try it out now. Open up, get your consoles out right now or emulators and give it a try. You can pro pull it off. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you do, once you've got it down, you can like get to places where you're not supposed to, and it's just awesome. And yeah, speaking of the devil, I might as well I might as well show you what uh what what silly actions you can get into if you use the jumping glitch in a spot where you really shouldn't. We will go in there in just a moment to get one of the other tokens. Now, the water here doesn't last forever, I notice, and it does have an end. If you use the jumping glitch and repeatedly jump off the lighthouse in the direction I'm facing, you'll dis discover why. Where will he? Where will Sully end up now? Da, da, oh da, god, da, it's glitch heaven! Holy shit! What do I do? I'm gonna like fall forever! Oh fuck! I'm screwed! Help! Oh no! The game actually has a feature that uh, that actually resets you back here if you somehow get out of bounds. Which for a PlayStation One game, I give the cre I give the creators credit for that. Yeah. I didn't think they would. I thought like I thought once I started to fall like endlessly, I thought it would just keep going and going until I die. But no, you actually do reset. However, on a side note, it would have been funnier if he fell, that we get here. Ah! I know, it doesn't show, like, the falling animation. That's, like, a separate, like, coding exactly. Entirely, I mean, yeah. But, I was not intending to do that, but sure. Yeah, but in their defense, I mean, they, pro they probably never, ever, could have ever intended you to go out of bounds like that, thus not adding... Well, they, what they probably fall. did, I'm guessing one of the times, I'm, I'm just gonna take a crack at it, yeah. someone probably accidentally went through the floor or something and they weren't supposed to, and then they then they figured, um, they, then they figured, oh shit, so what do we do? What if, what if a kid accidentally goes through the floor? So they probably put that coding in there to reset you so you don't get your ass stuck. Right. Which, I have nine tokens right now, you know what, I never ever collected that token last week before, so I wonder what happens. Where do they put you? I'm curious. Let me see. Now, now, now you're gonna show the other- yeah, yeah, you'll show the other- Oh yeah, I just wanna get the token first to get the silver medal before the bronze. Right. They s yeah. <laughs> That's not the safest area to do that, Sully! But sure! Wow, I can't believe I didn't just get squashed there. <laughs> well, one thing I'm gonna- alright. Alright, now with the ship- the, uh, the ship's the, uh, engine room here, you can pull off a couple more glitches here using these. For whatever reason, and I don't know why, when you do the belly flop as Sully, or even if you attack in general, you are invincible and you cannot get hurt. So that means, if you do the belly flop just as about you get, you get crushed, watch what happens. You go through the floor! But that's not all. You watch, where you, watch where you end up. Yeah, you respond at the same Yeah, you go through the floor and respond at the top. 
So now technically, right now, I'm on top of the piston. That's nice. Yep, I'm on top of the piston. Not only that, you can use it to get outside the map here. Yeah, I'm outside the map technically. You don't want to go too far though, because you'll just go through the floor and you'll just respawn back at the beginning of the end. However, there's something kind of, there's something kind of interesting here too. If you jump, if you're right around this area and you jump off to the right and do a standard double jump, you'll take a swim. Yeah, that's right. You will take a swim there because technically that. Where they place the engine room, believe it or not, is actually over in that direction. You can't see it because there's actually some sort of coating that makes it invisible until you actually go in the area itself. However, if you use the infinite jumping glitch... You can get inside the steam room, uh, a steam room, the engine room, a different way. But you better be careful because you still might <laughs> accidentally get in quotes, SQUASHED! Yup, this area, this ship's area is just so messed up, it's not even funny. And there, there's even there's even another odd one that he showed me that involved using the steam. Yeah, yeah, there's actually an odd one using the steam, but before that, I'm actually gonna show you that you can actually get on that platform without turning the engines off in case you wanna, like, fool around and glitch more over there. This may take a couple tries, it is not easy to do. And to do, the infinite jumping glitch does not help you because you descend too quickly. Ah, uh, <laughs> no! Why'd it put me way down here? That's weird. Yeah, that was, that was weird. Then again, what isn't weird in this game? Yeah, you know how when Sully says something's not right? He's talking about the fucking game. There's actually another way too. I think we can get, if you, if you yeah, do a double jump off of this. Yeah, I did, I, I, I did it this way. And it'd take me... Oh, there we go. And I don't have enough ooze. Wow, I'm such a fucking moron. I am sorry, you know what? That was just a oh, little, 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 part. There's like a little graphical thing in the ship where in that part you can see the water in the ship. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Oh, I believe in the invisible wall by that little thing. What ooze am I missing? Oh, you know what? I'm missing the ooze in the ship. Wow, because I didn't go all the way down in there. So I apologize, people. I was too much of an idiot. Oh, yeah, one thing to point out with this steam. It actually, um... You know how it, like, it fades eventually? If you pause the game, the steam still goes on, and it eventually ends. So you, if you somehow get stuck... Oh, shit! You can pause the game, let it run out, and then you'll be fine. How awesome is that? Oh, yeah, and just, just to let you know, you can actually go... You can actually go through the wall by doing a belly, fl belly flop on the side of it, too. Yay! I did it! Look at me go! Do it! Woohoo! What? <laughs> uh, I, I never got why you just randomly just get squashed. It, it, I, I take it if you just touch the side of those, you get squashed. But technically, you're in an area where you're not supposed to be touching those. Now I have enough ooze. I apologize for not having it before. I'm not gonna hit that switch because I want, do not want to disable the suit. Can I just scare this nerve? Yes, that's right, we're gonna get all three medals right now! Wow, suck me twice, that's cool. That's a lot though. Muscle man. And you know who else likes to scare nerves? My mom! Oh, I know, I had to say that. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> man, it's gonna take forever to get up there now, isn't it? No, I didn't say that. I'm gonna try doing it the other way since I want. I, I have to show both ways. Why not? There we go. Yay! You know what it was? I think you were just doing the body slam too soon. I think that was the only. Well, some. Yeah, I know. I mean, with well, that, if you do it too late, you won't gain enough height. So I mean, it's kind of like a gamble. Saturday Night Fever style. Gotta love it. Yeah. You especially gotta love that. It's right, I, I'm trying to figure out what, uh... I'm trying to figure out what nerve I need left. I never scared the blue one, did I? <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's right, he's still hiding in that crate. Yep, yep. And leak oh. Shut up, we're not listening to any of this. I'm sorry, if you want to see the cutscenes, just rent Monsters, Inc. or something. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Oh, hello, doing your animation when you're not supposed to. That's, yeah, it's, I think I'm just gonna do that reset. <laughs> Right. 
And finish it. John Travolta would be proud. There we go. Alright. Now, uh, like, alright, right before I scare the orange and, uh, blue nerd, don't you, okay, good job, Sully, you didn't die, I give you credit for that. I'm gonna show you, um, what happens if you touch the steam and like, fuck you, I needed that extra hit point! Oh, there's a bag of shit Bag of shit. That's yeah, we I'm always call it bag of shit, it's not bag of cattle, shit gives you, like, brute strength, it's like, Sully eats shit like Popeye eats spinach, that's, that's da, there, da, I da, said. Da, 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 da. How this, how this glitch I'm supposed I'm gonna work now? Touch the steam once and then leave. Then go back over here and enter the enter the uh, I keep saying steam room. Enter the machine room the wrong way. Oh, and I failed. Fuck myself. Uh, should be, there should be another bag of shit around here. I'm just gonna like commit suicide. <laughs> just the splash, nothing else. Uh. That was not right. Try again, bitch. All right. Anyway, touch the steam. See, even I'm not a complete master at the infinite jumping glitch. I, I still fail on occasion just because I'm kind of I'm kind of like in a hurry too at the same time. So. And I'm here. Now keep in mind that the these pistons will not behave normally now that I've touched the steam and entered the wrong way. Watch watch what I mean. What? What was that? Uh oh. Uh, yeah, apparently you get hurt in a different way. Yeah, it's very weird. Really? I got pushed to the wall? I didn't want to get pushed that time. Although what's weird though is if you get hit once by these, you will not get you will not get hurt again until you exit. However, be very careful when you exit because some strange things happen. The game still thinks Sully's getting squashed by all these uh, all these objects, so it's still logged in its memory. So watch what happens after I get killed by this. Something's not right. And then enter again. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting squ squashed. Something's not right. Exactly. So once you enter that area, then getting squished will now take place, and everything that's been saved up over time will then unleash all at once, and you'll just pretty much instantly die. Yeah. But you gotta be very careful doing that, though, because you may... you Sometimes it can go wrong, and then you could actually get squashed during the Something's Not Right cutscene, and then the game, you'll have to reset. You cannot go any further after that point. You'll just fuck up the game. So just, I don't recommend doing that glitch. Just for show one time. Oh, the invisible wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to point out, though, is what I don't understand, though, is with this guy, there's actually, like, an invisible wall where you can't walk through. Ugh, ugly I, face. I, 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 I know, look at it. Ugly face. It's freaking don't. horrible. I don't know why. I don't know why it's like that, but... And I just need one. I need two more nerves. I need to get the orange one, too. One last thing to point out, though. Actually, you know what? I will save it for next time. I won't do it right now. Or will I? You know what? No, I will. I will do it right now, just because I like you guys. Thank you for all of watching this crazy-ass freaking Let's Play. It's only going to get crazier as time goes on. Yeah, that it will. Saturday night. Now, you know how I said that when you die by jumping in the air, you actually, um, you actually get stuck in the air as you die? Hold on. Oh, really? And I failed! Oh, Fuck right. me! Anyway, you know what? Okay, Sully, yeah, you wanna go on the ship that bad? Well, well, that's okay, okay, you still got two more tries. Well, I know that, I was just demonstrating what- I was just re-demonstrating oh, yeah, what I'm yeah, supposed yeah, yeah. to, so... Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah that's right. Boom. Right. <laughs> now you know how that happens? Now yeah. I'm actually about to get a game over. Please, for the love of God, I hope I don't, because getting one, even when fucking around, is very embarrassing in this game. However, if, even if you do, you don't lose any progress at all. So, what happens if you do that glitch on your last life? I'll show you. Oh, 
I'm like so squirrely right now. Oh shh. Oh shh. Not you right. did it. Oh, look! I don't have a game over, and what's this? Look up here! That's right, 99 lives. You actually have pretty much infinite lives now because for, by doing that glitch, it overrides the game over cutscene, and then the lives just reset to the highest point, which I think is 255. Whatever, for whatever reason, games just like to pick that number. It's for data reasons, but you have... Exactly. You have 255 lives now to just screw around and waste. You will not gain anymore, but you still can lose them. Thanks, Shelly. You show off those biceps yeah. and say, all right, yeah. That is crazy. And I will save the game right now because I'm actually going to perform one last glitch that will crash your game, or just fuck up your game, rather, if you do it. I'm just going to save over the first file. I do not recommend doing this glitch because no matter what you do, even if you save afterwards, you will not be able to do anything else in your game. It is not. It is, this is this glitch is highly not recommended. But I'm just going to show you what happens anyway. Ow. 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 For whatever reason, you can also pause during that something's not right half cutscene. But whatever you do, do not click quit to scare island like I'm gonna do, or else now you just fucked over your file. There's nothing more toxic or deadly than fucking than up this game. game. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you just proven it. Watch what happens. And now that I responded here, look at what I'm doing to my controller. I'm trying to move around. Wait, I can move? Wait, how did I move? Wait, I can move with the right analog stick? Wait, whoa, well, that is fun. Wait a minute, okay, this is weird, because before, I never tried to, but I never tried, I thought the left analog stick was to move. That's how fucked up the glitches, it switches <laughs> the controls. It switches the controls. <gasps> Wait. Like the functions are all different. Okay, this is very weird. Wait, try jumping. You can't, no, any other function doesn't work. Okay, you know what? Do this glitch, I changed my mind. Apparently, you can't move using the regular D-pad, but using the right analog stick, you can move? This is, okay, This keep in mind, this is the first time I've discovered this, because before, you can't move around it. What? Now, now try doing shit. I still can't move, but now the cutscene taking place. Oh, okay, you can get out of it. But wait, does that mean I have to use the right analog stick from, like, now on? Let me try, try killing myself. Because I can't jump, and I can't... Pr oh, triangle works. What about square? Square doesn't work. So triangle, circle, and... I'm gonna fall in the water. Ah, and the right analog stick works. No, I still can't move. So, only three of the buttons work? Wait, what about the camera buttons? The camera buttons do not work. Alright, so so just so it's just triangle, circle, and the right analog stick. Alright, now let me try to go back into the docks and see what happens. Oh, okay, now the X button works. Oh, yeah, okay, I just realized yeah, the X button doesn't work. Okay, you know what so, I'm... So, uh, so, you just can't jump, which is weird. That's weird, yeah, look at it. You can actually move around still, but you can't jump or do circle or anything. You can't... Oh, yeah, you can't pause the game. Yep, so... You so, can't. yeah, so pretty much your file is still fucked up. Yeah, try, try beating this game without fucking jumping or scaring nerves. You can't do it! <laughs> yeah, try doing it without attacking, either. Yeah, you look at it, like I can push square all I want. And, let me try killing myself and see what uh, see if it works out. Something's not right. Understatement of a fucking century. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I still can't move, but for whatever reason, the right analog stick you can move around, and you can still pause. Now, keep in mind that this this file is still corrupted, and saving at any point in this during this glitch is not recommended at all. So just don't do it. It's just so weird. <laughs> oh yeah, that's me just barely tapping it, by the way. That's not me actually fucking up. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be the end of this part, since I can quit to Scare Island. Which, actually, I need to exit the game anyway. So, I hope I, I hope you enjoyed this part, and stay tuned for the next part, which is going to be the Marketplace, where you can actually get all three medals on that, too. And it's actually way easier to do than the docks. We will show you in the next part, so stay tuned.